a refueling stop at the power socket, a routine procedure for Matthias Meinzinger. He's just finished assembling this car and will take it for a test drive. This factory is where the electric vehicles are made. The company produces 300 of its City EL model every year. Meinzinger pre-assembles many of the components on his workbench. No robots are used. This is quality crafted by hand. It's simpler to make them by hand than to construct a machine to carry out this work. Meinziger has been working as a mechatronics engineer at the factory for three years. He's confident about the company's future. Electric engines are coming. The foundation's already laid. They're definitely on the way. He puts the parts together piece by piece. His boss, Carl Nestmeyer, is a pioneer in electric cars and has been producing them since the 1990s. He sees no contradiction between technical progress and handcrafting. This vehicle is made to last 20 to 25 years. This model's technological ancestors are now more than 25 years old, and they still show no signs of reaching the end of their useful life. And if I consider the cost of 10,000 euros over a span of 20 to 25 years, the depreciation is minimal. The purchase price is high, but there are hardly any maintenance costs. The car reaches a top speed of 65 kilometers per hour. Most of the cars built by the company are sold to commuters who drive short distances. The local priest is also an enthusiastic driver of the eco-friendly vehicles. It works well. Today I visited the construction site near a church and the vicarage of another church. Then I came here. So the 80 kilometers range is usually fine for me. If it isn't, I just plug it in. It takes three hours to charge the car's battery, and the power costs are negligible. The secret lies in the efficient electrical engine and in the batteries. If I look at my electricity bill, it comes to about one euro for every 100 kilometers. That's the total energy cost to drive 100 kilometers. Matthias Meinzinger needs around two days to assemble the car's 4,000 parts. There are rarely problems on the test drive, since Matthias knows practically every inch of the vehicle.